Has anyone seen the current effort that they're trying to do? A high school history class where the teacher is making history. Before this, I never had a teacher of color. This is the first time I've had a black teacher. According to Black Men Teach Twin Cities, fewer than 1% of Minnesota teachers are black men, like Mr. Marcus Berg. And students at Breck School say his teaching method? So I talk about uh, what's going on in the community all the time. Is also one for the books. He's really pushed me to share my own opinion, which I think is really important because it's different from other people's in my class. He isn't necessarily focusing on, you know, you need to know this date, you need to know this place, but rather these different perspectives are what shapes the world we're in today. I think that it really helps us gain an empathy for other people. Growing up, it seemed unlikely Marcus Berg would become Mr. Berg today. So I was raised by a single mom and she had addiction issues. Um, that led for me to be miss a lot of school and be behind in school. So I was around two grade levels behind and then I was placed into the special ed. It was there where Marcus learned to believe in himself. I had Miss Coop. Miss Coop was an amazing teacher. A lot of teachers before that um, would just say, Marcus is a nice kid. Miss Coop was the first one and it's like, he could be more than that. But Miss Suzanne Koob, I don't think it was me, I think it was Marcus. Does not take credit for his success. A lot of times when you have children who go into a special ed class, they're not happy. But Marcus was different. He came in there and he worked hard. And he also helped the other kids too. They didn't understand something. A teacher making an impact on a student who would go on to graduate from an Ivy League school and return home. And maybe after I retire from the FBI, I might become an English teacher. To make an impact on students too. Kaya Edwards, CARE 11 News. Dream big. Wow. Yeah, well, Mr. Berg's story is incredibly inspiring, so much so that we wanted to hear more. So joining us live on Zoom, good morning, Mr. Berg. Good morning. How are you all? Good. Thanks for being with us. Hey, one question for you. Some people might say if you go to an Ivy League school, you have options. You don't necessarily have to come back to the place you grew up in. Why do that? Um, for me, while well, going out to an Ivy League school and that obviously opens up a lot of opportunities for you. It made me really think about what kind of like impact do I want to have? What kind of like legacy do I want to have? And I knew how much how important education was in believing in myself and having those opportunities opened up for me. And I wanted to come back to my community and provide that for other students like me. Okay. Um, it's not guaranteed for students to have a teacher that believes in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so many people are glad you've come back to the community. And Mr. Berg, we're going to catch up with you again on our Sunrisers Extra in about 11 minutes. So we look forward to talking to you again right then. Yeah, we'll learn much more.